Hi. So this is a uh, hi. This is a uh, Vortex incinerator. It's built out of uh, two barrels uh, with some. Uh, get away from the incinerator. Um, two barrels with some diamond plate and uh, a flu. The aluminum. Yes, I built the blower. The throttle, because otherwise it'll burn way too fast. Um, based off of an angle grinder motor, because that's what I had. And I can't turn it off for very long because it will explode. <laughs> it could. So, uh, that's kind of neat. Stop, 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 stop. Don't do this at home. Okay, so blades, they uh, just bases, uh, pieces of steel uh, all weigh the same and then uh, welded onto a ring, bolted onto the end there, balanced with a uh, lawnmower blade balancer, but worked pretty well. Uh, Uh, this is for uh, sound isolation. There's actually little rubber bumpers in there to keep the motor from uh, vibrating the whole thing. And uh, let's see. We're in 50 in the middle. Trainer to the top. 95 in the air intake. And the handle is ice cold. Oh, well, that's not ice cold. I can't do the handle. Anyway, the handle's like obviously cold. I uh, got a little door down here for the ashes, which proved to be really problematic. Please don't light stuff on fire. Um, I would not put a door in the bottom. I would not do the bottom at all. That was a bad idea. I would just use, use a barrel. Okay, so. <clears throat> Look what it looks like when it's burning. You notice. No exhaust, no sparks. Nothing. There's my spark arrestor. There. And my intake nozzles. Right there. Basically creates a vortex on the inside of the barrel so that uh, it... Uh, pushes the smoke and ash to the outside edge, it falls down and uh, nothing comes out the top. Hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.